guys, it's Lauren Yates from Rave It Up here, and I'm privileged to be here today with Lockie Deary from Hello. High Five. Hey, how are you going? I am fantastic. It's good to hear you. How are you going? I'm very well. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, Can't good. Well, welcome to Rave It Up. It's your first time on the show. Yeah. And thank you so much for taking your time out because I know you have a very busy schedule. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> I love doing this stuff. So and thanks for I inviting me to your dance studio. Yeah, you... this is where it kind of all happened. It all started, really. Yeah. You yeah, said when you've I was, been here since you were since three? I was three. Since I was three, since oh my gosh. The, the dance studio started. So yeah, I'm at Planet Dance in Menai. So yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. I love this Come place. Come check it out. I was just yeah. seeing the wall and it was just all the stuff that Good they've... Good studio. Oh my gosh. They've done like all the major musicals. Yeah, and you Disney name it. Channel, you name Voice. it, they've been in it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. So... It is. I'm, I'm pretty blessed to be in such an awesome... And it's a family environment as well. Like you yeah. grow up with all these people. Like I, I was dancing here for 15 years, so... It's like kind of another it's set of family. When you've got a bit of yeah, time absolutely. off. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it's and really he's nice. even on the wall too. He got I made it on the wall. wall. <laughs> I made it on the wall. Lucky me. <laughs> Finally, right? You're like, Finally. I've been, here, I've been here so long. It took me 15 years. Yeah. That <laughs> <laughs> That's how long it takes to get on the wall. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to have you on the show today. No, thank you very much. And since it is your first time on the show, yes. we'd love to get to know you a little bit better. Sure. And I think we should start from the beginning because that only makes sense to you, right? Yeah, all right. I did hear that you started singing at, what, five years old? Yeah. Yeah, well I, well, I started when I was dancing when I was three. And yeah. dancing's kind of my, my main thing. And I kind of picked up singing along the way to complement my dancing. So Because yeah. I loved musical theatre. And I loved singing in the rain, the, the movie. Yeah. And that's what pretty much made me want to do that style of dancing. And so I kind of picked it up when I was like five, seven, around that wow. kind of age. Yeah. And Nathan, Nathan Foley from the original High Five was oh, a bit yeah, of your yeah. inspiration. Well, that's, that's why I started dancing was because of Nathan Foley. Because I used to just groove along with him as yeah. a little kid and mum's like he, he needs to dance and yeah. so they bring me up to this studio and yeah and, and now I'm in the same history. position that he was in so it's actually really crazy because wow. he inspired me so now I have the opportunity to do it to others which is just like mind-boggling and you met him too when you I were did, younger. yeah yeah oh, when I was about seven I probably would have met him he um adjudicated one of my talent quests oh. just that's down awesome. the road, actually. Oh, and, cool. Yeah, all local. All, all around the Menai area. Um, yeah, so I met him. I got a signature. I got a photo. Didn't think Did you get to meet all of them? Oh, or was it just him? I think it was just him. I think he just... Oh, maybe him and one other. But yeah. I, I think I got the photo with him. Ch Charlie was my favourite. Charlie. Yeah, I, I think everyone's yeah, girl. Everybody loves Charlie. Yeah, everyone loves Charlie. I, I met her when I was a little girl. And then I met her again when I was uh, 16. And I was oh, just yeah, like... Yeah. So um, I, I met you when I was a little kid. And she's like... Wow, way to make me feel old. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. She doesn't change. She doesn't I, age. She yeah, just yeah. looks amazing. She still looks like she did when she was nineteen. Yeah. But we, she, when That's we, a real had, big compliment. <laughs> yeah. When we did the auditions recently, she was there also, so oh. we got to go see her, and That's she's a bit still daunting, the same. Isn't it? Oh yeah, it's like pretty nerve wracking because uh, Charlie and Tim Harding was there as well. Oh my gosh. So it was pretty full on. Like, okay, I cannot do these music to shame. Like, I have to be really good because they are really. Good good but they are who what what you see what they used to be on high five back in the day is yeah. actually how they are in real life wow and so that, that actually that kind of clicked and went so i just have to be myself yeah and then that's kind of how i did it in the auditions you just have to be for high five yeah like, exactly you, you can't you, be anybody but exactly yourself. exactly like i'm playing locky i'm not I'm not playing Aladdin in the musical. That That's what was kind of weird about the I audition. would like to see you do that, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I definitely look like Aladdin. But, <laughs> but yeah, that's what's weird about the audition because I've done heaps of musical theatre auditions before and you're going to play a character or, mm. you know what I mean? But this one is like it's you're amazing. going in to play myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, how do I do that? That's the easiest job ever. <laughs> I know, I know. But it was actually really confronting and really hard. But you get over it and it kind of... It settles now. It's settled. Yeah. So it's good. So you have auditioned for musicals as well. Was this yeah. all before High Five, was it? Oh, yeah. Well, I was... Because I got High Five the day after my last exam in my HSC. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I had to, the audition process was the week off I had in my four weeks of my HSC. Did you study HSC at all? Oh, uh, I tell you what. <laughs> I did. I did. But my mind wasn't completely on yeah, it. Yeah. It was but, elsewhere. Yeah, exactly. 
But yeah, so beforehand, I did heaps of musical theatre auditions. Like I would have been like, I was the, I was always the youngest one in the room. Like I was like sixteen, everyone else was like twenty three, twenty one, like around that age. Yeah. It's like you guys are just jealous yeah. <laughs> that but, you wish you started yeah, at sixteen. Exactly, but no, it was awesome. So I like doing that stuff. But this is this just feels right. High five. Oh, good. Yeah. You, you, you know, you kind of just feel it. And it's like it's in the heart, yeah, and you're it like, it is. Like I'm meant to be where I am. In the audition, they asked me what, what's your dream job, and I just. I was kind of like, well, I love singing, I love dancing, I love acting, and I love kids, and I love presenting. So this, I guess, this, this yeah. is the job. Like, I didn't really think it was a job when they asked me. I was like, uh, high five. Oh, that's a thing. That is a thing. There's some and jobs we just forget about. I just never like just didn't think about it, and I was like, this actually makes a lot of sense yeah. to do. Good. You f- you found so. you found that thing. I did. You I found did. that thing for you. Yeah. Because you never thought of any other career, did you? It was always, it was always being performing. an entertainer. Yeah, always entertaining. Oh. Ever since I was four, five. Yeah. I just loved it. <laughs> since you started here. <laughs> since I started here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And your family is like filled with dancers as well, isn't it? My mum's a dance teacher here as well. My sister is. is that a... why she started you here? It no, no, no. I, I actually started teach. I started dancing here, and then a year later, she started teaching. So, but my sister's a fantastic dancer as well. She's sixteen, yeah, yeah. sixteen. So she's she dances here as well. But yeah, she's and awesome. you've just got your dad. My dad actually as well. he does dance. Because at the end of the year, we have our end of year concert at Planet Dance, and the. The dads do a dance. Oh my gosh, that's and funny. And dad's done it every year <laughs> since it started. So he's done a con- he's done fifteen concerts before. He's good, um, or is it like the embarrassing dad dance? It's definitely the embarrassing dad <laughs> yeah, dance. Yeah, of course. It's it's definitely like Gundam style and like <laughs> like that. Oh wow, that was old. But yeah, it's all that kind of funny it's a throwback. stuff. Throwback. That's it. He can he can groove. He can groove. He it's tells Thursday me what to do. Too. Throwback can, Thursday. Yeah, throwback yeah. Thursday. <laughs> but he tells me. He, he, whenever I do stuff, he's like, yeah, you should do something like this. Like, he's funny. He's oh really gosh. into it because he was never... He, he's always a sport kind of guy. And then we well, came along and me and my sister are both dancers. And he's kind of really got into, like, a, a dance dad and, like, he got Aww, into it all. It's so, so cool. sweet. Yeah, he's mad. They he's must awesome. be so proud of you. They are. They are. It's crazy. Even though they don't really see a lot of you, obviously, with often, all the touring. But... <laughs> Yeah, no, I always come and see them yeah. when I can, for sure. And speaking of family, yeah. you got a dog on like the day of the audition, didn't oh, you? And called story. Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss, Are my, you a my fan border of Hugo Boss? Is that where I, that name came about? I, I, I was actually walking around in DFO, and <laughs> this is when I was like, I really want to get a dog. And I was like, what am I going to call it? And we're like, oh, haha, we could call it that. And I was like, Hugo Boss. I was like, we should call that's it Hugo Boss. Like, that's name. actually a pretty cool name. <laughs> and so, funny story, the day. Me and my sister have always been planning to go road tripping to go pick up the dog. And like, Aww. it was at Bega, so it was like four hours away. And so we're, we're planning on doing that. And then I got the audition and the callback day. So the next day was when we were supposed to pick up the dog. And so I got through the callback and I was like, oh, well, I can't pick up the dog. So my whole family went to pick up the Aww. dog. Funny story, the same day that they picked up the dog, obviously it was my audition. And the scene I had to do was Lockie's Doggy Daycare Centre. Oh my gosh. And, and you're I just like, went, just rub it in my face. If this is not a sign, <laughs> I don't know what is. Because it was just so bizarre. Like the one scene they could have picked is the day that, that my, I was picking, picking up my dog. dog. But yeah, he's well, your awesome. your family was picking up the Yeah, my dog. family was yeah. picking up the dog. So that was really bizarre. That yeah. was bizarre. Oh. <laughs> There's like all these like weird signs. like Because I had like... I HSC, like I had four weeks to do it all. And the yeah. one week I had off was the one week that the auditions were going on. So I was just like it's timing. Meant to be. Because I'm never good with timing. Like it's always, I've got two auditions on the same day and things like that. Yeah, but this one rush. worked out. This one worked out. So I was like. So lucky. I'm a big believer good. that everything happens for a reason. Me too. And Me too. that did happen for and a it reason. Did. I mean, I did get a parking ticket the same day as the High Five audition. Mm. But <laughs> it, it was that a price matter. to pay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I mean, high five. It's all good. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, they pay me now, so I can pay off that. Yeah, exactly. So it's okay. <laughs> just give them the, yeah. the ticket it was going. Like just paying, um, it was just paying $90 for the audition. Exactly. Just think of it like that. <laughs> That's an interesting way to look at it. <laughs> yeah, there Just we go. give them the ticket and go, this is because of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay it off for me. Thank oh, you. Good way to start the job. Hey? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like I've just started. You're going to yeah. love me. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, here's my receipt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so is your sister older or younger than you? Younger. She's 16. Aww. 
Oh, you missed the road trip. You'll just have to I missed the road organize trip. that now. And I was so Maybe annoyed. not to pick up a dog, but I know, and I came home and I was trip. so worried that they all bonded before I did And the, the dogs dog. are gonna be like, Who are you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, because they had like a four hour trip home with him. But no, he loves me. I love him. He's the best. He's oh. he'd be a year and a half now. Yeah. Oh, so so cute. he's very cute. He's very smart. And he can do like Border Collie he must be quite big now. Yeah, he's like kinda like medium height like he's yeah he's good he Aww, loves the beach loves the beach so cute Taking border collies are amazing or yeah, just so all dogs cool. are amazing i love dogs oh yeah, i love animals too. i just love animals it's oh. just they're a bundle of joy and they, they really do become are. part of the family and they're innocent they're like kids yeah <laughs> because they're that they're, totally suits you it does i know because <laughs> when i was it's pretty much when you're taking care of a puppy it's the same as a baby well, what i'm guessing anyway i don't have a baby but what i'm yeah. guessing anyway you <laughs> yeah. know what i mean like sleepless nights and positive reinforcement stuff like yeah. that you know what i mean Practice your high five scenes with him. He can do day. high fives as well. Oh. I go one, two, three, four, and he goes. Oh my god! I mean, he is... doesn't say high five because yeah. that would be impressive. That would be, but and I think you'd can't. probably be a millionaire. <laughs> yeah. No, he just does talking high dog. Five. Yeah. So. Oh my god! That, yeah. You need to videotape that. And I put it on social media. I really do. Yeah. It's a good idea, actually. Yeah, because um, it's, 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 it's a yeah. good promo for high five. Yeah, it's a good promo. It is. <laughs> Now, you were um, a a finalist on Australia's Got Talent, weren't you? Which is awesome. And then you won Young Talent Time. Yes, yes. So how how did you find, because now you're experiencing, or experienced that and you're now experiencing High Five, the difference between reality TV and now doing High Five? Uh, I don't know. Reality is... It's, it's not kind of reality. Yeah, like, is it really reality? Like, <laughs> we just like practice for ever and ever and ever to make sure our dances were right. And Yeah, why do we call it reality in, TV? <laughs> exactly. But in Young Talent Time, we actually, I think we got out the second round, but we came back as like a wild card round. So the people who got out, who had like the most votes or something could could have another chance to get yeah. in and so we got another chance to get in and then we won so it's like we actually did get out though so yeah. and then we ended up winning so we must have improved good experience <laughs> for you but it was amazing though it actually was like it made me just progress a lot as a performer because i was kind of the as a male dancer there's not that many in at my yeah. dance school Mm. So there would have been like maybe three of us and that's pretty big for a normal dance school anyway. So, but then I joined this hip hop crew and there was like 20 really good boys. So some guy would do this. 20? Yeah. Ugh. I know from like the ages of eight to 14. And so some guy would come in and do a backflip and I'm just like, I want to do that. And next <laughs> week I did a backflip. Like it's oh just kind of Oh my gosh, like, really? Wow. It's just, it, it, it's you just want to do things yeah. it's, it's really inspiring like seeing people do all these cool things and you're just like I want to do that yeah you just learn off each other exactly yeah you bounce off each other that so that was awesome. fun yeah and now same with Dapper when I was in Australia's Got Talent but we were a bit older then I think I was like 15 maybe instead of 14 yeah but, <laughs> one year but it was the know, next year it was <laughs> the next year but it was so much fun like I learned so much I got to meet some awesome people from Channel 9 and Channel 10 and so mm. it was really awesome Wow. Yeah. Did you get nervous at all on stage? Do you have yeah, problems I'm, with stage fright at all? Not really. I I don't know. I'm pretty... It's kind of my favourite place ever, like, on stage. Yeah. Like, if I had to pick a holiday, it's kind of on stage. Like, I kind of... <laughs> I actually... I really like it. Like, People I really, would kill for that job. <laughs> I know. I, like, I do... Like, if it's really big, like, the the carols, I was a little bit, like, the carols this year. I was yeah, that's nervous. a... It's a big deal. It was massive. Yeah, yeah. I've never performed for that many people before. And on live television and... But I don't know. I just go out there and just, I don't know. As soon as the music starts, it just all goes away anyway. Aww, but so no, I'm really like, I love being on stage. Like ever since I was four, I've kind of just been like, I want to be on stage. <laughs> That's good. That's well, a I very long job. time. That's why I picked my job, I guess. Yeah, so you could be on stage. Yeah, it's and my favourite. And as we said, it just, you feel like it's where you're supposed to be. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Honestly, it honestly is. Oh, but yeah. It's so good that you're so passionate about what you do. It's no, awesome. I am. <laughs> Because this show is very positive, so have heaps of people. That's it. There. Positivity. Positivity. Living a dream. It is. So, Ab- yeah. That's it. A- absolutely. Those normal <laughs> jobs will always be there. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you might as well go for You'll what kick you yourself love. in the butt if you didn't try. Exactly. See? So, Lockie says it. it too. <laughs> now, High Five was watched by more than like 10 million people. That's a lot of people. Globally. <laughs> yeah. So there's, must be, there's a lot of kids looking up to you. You've got to be a good role model. Is yeah, that a bit yeah. daunting? Um, kind of got to watch it kind of your is, behavior. But like, <laughs> I, I'm like a pretty 
clean guy. Like I don't, I've never had alcohol before in my life. I've never had a Good sip. I've never had. I just, I don't Good know. It's kind of. I just went to like a, a small private school and then went to Newtown and then just kind of expanded my horizons a bit and I don't know I'm kind of what I am on TV is kind of exactly who what I am yep. in real life so as I've noticed <laughs> yeah that's basically basically it so yeah. I don't know I just kind of be myself I don't I'm I'm pretty clean so I don't have problems and everyone else in high five as well I guess that's why they pick us you know yeah I mean? they're, they're they'll do their background that. research and they'll figure out is this a good person? Yeah, or let's do our pretending background to be a good check. person because you can't pretend to be. I can't pretend to be someone who I'm not for however long I do this job, five years. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I can't. I can't pretend to do that. So that's why I think in the auditions they just pick who they know are actually real. Mm. Because when you go in auditions, like some people kind of put on like a, a facade, as in like this is who I am. Yeah. A performer. When really I mean? I'm different at home. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because you kind of want to, in auditions, people want to be like the best versions of themselves possible. Mm. But I don't know. I just kind of tried to be myself. I think after watching Charlie and Tim and seeing how they are exactly who they used to be on stage, on, on TV, I was like, that's what I need to do. I just need to be myself. Good. Learning from the originals. Yeah. Mm. That's it. There's no other, there's no better way. That's who I inspired to be. And yeah, so yeah. that happened. <laughs> and even though you guys, because, you know, the old high five was around for years yeah, and you yeah. guys are still relatively new. Are you already getting recognised by kids on the street? Yeah, like a, a, a few times, but mainly in Asia. Like you walk along the streets and they'll be like, hey, Lockie, I, I guess I got blonde hair. So it's pretty... And you I, stand I, out. Exactly. Yeah. I would stand out and I'm not extremely tall, but I'm not I'm not short, you know what I mean? So like I kind of like stand a bit above. A little and bit like, above everybody. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little bit taller than everyone else in Asia. And so I don't know I've got blonde hair and they kind of go, Oh, lucky! And then they come up and ask for photos, and it's so cute. Aww. It's it's kind of cool. Like I just don't feel like I'm. That's who I am. Like I don't feel You're like an a, Asian celebrity. <laughs> I just, I don't, it, just it feels weird, but it's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Any adults as well? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But a lot of the time they just the music take is a photo so awesome. for their kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, we have like adult fans as well. Like, like I don't know, there's like. 35 year olds and stuff like that but they're all kind of just like really supportive of what we do because they know that this is what we love to do and they really respect that mm. so it's, it's really cool actually like we have all different ages that are our fans and I really like the music even though I'm 19 and I really <laughs> like the music so I'm good not, it's catchy if you got sick of it it would be it's it, catchy it would make it really hard for your job I mean you when in they're so catchy that you're, you're sleeping and you just you know, hide your eyes and count like it's just in your head always <laughs> <laughs> always, always it's in good. my head. You're not going to forget the lyrics. The high five way. songs are always in my head. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Do you have any difficulty memorizing the lyrics, or did when you first started? Um, or the dance moves? I think but... not really. Not really. Like, it was kind of all. The dance moves are kind of what we say. Mm. So like, I don't know if it's like hide your eyes and count to ten. Like it's basically just doing what we're saying, yeah. so the kids can copy on. So easy. <laughs> so it's pretty. It's pretty easy in that sense. But I, I guess sometimes getting the words mixed up like kind of like rearranging them but mm. i think it's happened to me once yeah but other than that i just kind of went blah, 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 and just kept going <laughs> you've got four other people just, just pretend just pretend yeah. when in doubt just mine yeah but yeah they're kids <laughs> they're, they're not gonna notice right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's great that like i i was reading you know a bio of you and you are, you were saying that, like you def you want to do this to i guess spread some more positivity to the kids and yeah, show that anything it. is possible which is it so is. beautiful it is it's just like i couldn't have i live a pretty positive life like i don't know there's people there's always You're a positive guy i'm yeah, getting that great there's positive always, energy off you there's always someone else that's doing it worse off than what you are yeah. so i guess you just got to put things into perspective so i think that's a way and that's what's amazing about kids like they are innocent and they are positive mm. without even thinking about it because they haven't been not ruined but they haven't seen things you know what I mean? yeah. they kind of just think oh this is that yeah. so it's yeah. kind of it's really humbling and it's really rewarding oh, but so yeah i don't know like positivity is massive and if everyone's positive then i don't think there'll yeah, be how great many like the problems. world would be <laughs> exactly exactly yeah. and living your dreams also because i don't know settling sucks Mm. You know what I mean? I As you would know, like you're, you're doing what you'd love to do. Exactly. So, uh, I don't know. Settling is just, I don't know. Just keep, keep climbing because this is one. This is where I am now, and like this is awesome. I'm so happy, but I just want to keep doing that. I don't want to peak. 
Yeah. I don't want to peak because even though people are like, oh, you, what was your peak in your life? Like, I don't know. I think that the, the goal. I haven't reached it yet. <laughs> the goal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, that'd be the best answer because the goal is to just keep going like that. That's yeah. the goal. Don't go back down. Exactly. And not just like kind of plateau or peak. I don't know. Just keep going. Yeah. And the only, the only way you can do that is through work so like just doing it like the only thing stopping you from where you are to where you want to be and this is what i massively believe where you are to where you want to be is work yeah like, i mean there's luck and there's being at the right place at the right time but at the end of the day if you don't work, work on your craft or mm. work what you want to do it doesn't matter who you are like if you're a plumber like working hard at plumbing you know what i mean it's yeah. the same thing like as a dancer like if i'm if i'm here i don't know this is very literal but if i'm like oh i've done a double turn or oh, if to get four turns I just need to keep turning like yeah you know, it's it's ba- like it's very literal example that is a good one though but it's, it's it is though like it's yeah. the way to fix it I don't know that's I completely well, agree I though because even if I didn't do anything yeah I wouldn't be doing any interviews would I exactly because yeah, I yeah. chase these up and yeah, yeah, talk yeah. to people Without exactly. doing that, this would get nowhere. You exactly. have nothing to watch. I'd be talking to no one right now. Yeah. I'd just be at my home with a microphone staring into and blank space. And enjoying a day off. Yeah, Doing that's something it. else. <laughs> going to the beach or something. Oh, which no. I think you can still fit in doing that Oh, today. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll still definitely the morning. today. Yeah. That's awesome. It's great to see that you're so grateful for what you've got. And oh, I'm extremely grateful. You've like, already achieved so much and you're only 19. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's I'll, only up from here. Yes, that that's the goal. That's the goal. Yeah. Well, that's great. And I did hear that, you know, one of the, your favourite things about being in High Five is the hospital visits. That's my favourite, for sure. so beautiful. Like, I get goosebumps just thinking about it. I get goosebumps it. thinking Can about it, too. It's, tell us about those We experiences. actually went and did one last week, two last week. We went to Randwick Children's Hospital and Westmead Children's Hospital. And it's, it's just... Westmead, you're like just down the road from me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's actually just amazing. Yeah. You go in there and you just... Everything turns into perspective and that whole thing about being positive is just such like, it's something so small that we can do that can make something so great for someone else. Yeah, because they're going through such a hard time. All we are doing is literally going out there and doing what we love to do and just sing, you know, basically. Like we don't even need to dance that much. Like we can just go and sing and talk to kids and it makes their day so much brighter. Mm. And I just feel like, I don't know. It's I love doing it, and it's such like a small thing for me to do. Like it's not that hard, you know what yeah. I mean. So why not help others a lot by just doing little? Mm. It's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah, I don't know. And for it's something fun. as simple as just a smile, exactly. For them, it's like they don't smile very much because they're going through. Literally, a hard just time. asking them, like talking about their favorite colors, and like if you had to pick a to be a superhero what superhero would you be and just like <laughs> stuff like that like they they love it i don't know like they're kind of in this one area and they do the, the hospitals do an amazing job like we were ambassadors for the starlight foundation and they have the starlight rooms there and they've got their starlight captains and it's like kind of like a cool hang area yeah. for all the kids in the hospital and that's where we go and hang out and perform and they've got all their little games and oh, you get to play awesome. paint and stuff like that and they've got heaps of musical instruments which is awesome and yeah it's 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 my favorite it's the most rewarding part of my job mm. and I love doing it. Yeah. So I try and always say to our bosses and our marketing team, can we please do, do more. more of this? Like, <laughs> we've got next week off. Let's uh, fit in a hospital visit. Yeah. yeah. Basically. <laughs> but it's so much fun. It's amazing. Oh, that's beautiful. You get to be a big kid too. We do. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I never grow up. I left school to... To, to be to a chicken on TV to, yeah. and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like being frogs or like random stuff. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you guys do some random stuff. Really weird stuff. Yeah. Really but weird. But for kids, it's like... <gasps> but it's fun. Like, how many jobs can you go and just be a goofball? Not many. Exactly. So and nobody judges awesome. you because your audience is kids. Yes, exactly. And I think the great thing about especially High Five and just all the, you know, children's groups like the Wiggles and stuff is that... You know, new kids are born, and you always got new fans. Exactly. When those kids grow up, it's completely. You get some more. It's it's never ending, and it's completely changing. Yeah. Which is, which is kind of cool because you have. That's why children's groups work. Yeah, mm. and there's always a new. Every different place you go to, they're all still the same. So, if I go to Hong Kong, is different to Australia. Completely different. It's com- culturally completely different. Oh yes. But, I know. <laughs> but yet, like, and even going to hospital visits, like, even though they're all completely different kids just singing and dancing that's just it's universal and everyone kind of likes it mm. everyone loves it so yeah. 
that's also something that you really notice like when you go overseas and tour like i know we went to new zealand singapore hong kong malaysia like they're all different australia and like all these different places but yet they still all just love to sing and dance yeah which even if they cool. don't know english it's still even if they don't the know music english is catchy. They, they're still they're still bopping along doing yeah. things so <laughs> It's it's fun. It's Aww. awesome. Yeah. Good on you. Keep, keep doing it. It's, oh, that's you're doing a great thing. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Now, you are also an amazing dancer, not just in High Five. Oh. I saw a YouTube video of you dancing to Bang Bang by Will I Am. Oh, I think wow. it was a while ago, yeah. Wow, that was a long time ago. Yes. What have been, 14 or something? I do my research. Um, <laughs> oh, wow, that was that was for the, um, the group. That was filmed that. here too, wasn't it? It kind of looked no, like it No, it would have been. It was actually it was filmed in Campbelltown. It was pretty much... Oh, very similar studios. Kind of, yeah, pretty similar to this. But yeah, it's where we did the group that did Australia's Got Talent, the Dapper. We all yeah. kind of did a little solo for like a minute just to kind of like post up on YouTube a while ago. I've got to watch that video, video again because I haven't seen it for a while. Yeah, you're probably, <laughs> you're probably even better it. now. I hope so. I yeah. hope so. <laughs> Hopefully, I grew a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But was it challenging to go, you know, because obviously in that video you're just kind of feeling the music, you're doing your own steps. But High Five, you've obviously got your own steps to yeah, do yeah. and memorise. Did you find it hard to go from, you know, feeling the music, doing what you want to do to the really simple steps that High Five has? Uh, not really. I kind of find the simple steps harder because... Really? Because Isn't you... Interesting? I think you just... When you, like, learn a, a lot of cor Corey and it, it's really fast, like, one E and a two E and you're just like, what... Like you have to think. Slow it down. You have to think, and you have to go. This arms here. This arms here. This arms here. This like you kind of have to think about it. But with because it's kind of basic, you can just be like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. And then you go, hang on, where am I? But because it's not as hard, and you don't think about it, so it's a bit difficult. But I don't know. I've I've done every single different dance style of my life, so. I guess it's it's. I don't really find it that much more difficult, but mm. it's kind of. You've like, been dancing since you were three. I'm so. dancing since I was three, so hopefully I can still do hope, the moves that yeah. I learned when I was three. Okay. Yeah, and in high five, you've got to remember to sing as well. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one thing. It's more like stamina. That's kind of the hard part for yeah. high five because you're you're running like most of the time, mm. and you're singing, and, keeping your and it's up. really high singing. So, and I'm a pretty low singer. So. Yeah. I'm just belting like <laughs> like everything, but at running at the same time. So, but it's making me better. Yeah, which is, which is great. So I'm guessing you got to go to the gym regularly just to yeah, yeah. keep that up. For sure. Yeah. Because yeah. we're about to go and film the TV series, and so we we film each song like 20 times. Oh so, my gosh. And they're all exhausting. So if you're not sick of the songs now, you may be soon. <laughs> I will be. I will be. Nah, I love them, but. Yeah, so we have to get real. We have to run. Like I run a lot, and we all kind of run together sometimes in high five. It's pretty fun. Oh my gosh, that's adorable, isn't it, guys? <laughs> We're all friends. Like, it, 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 like I didn't expect so that to happen. So it all clicked in instantly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. I didn't expect that to happen because the first week that we all worked together, we actually shared a house. They a high five put us up in like this that's, that's, the high five good, house. Yeah. But like, <laughs> they put us together in this house, and it kind of felt like a reality TV show, and it was just like. Like married at first sight, like live with the other person. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like that kind of thing. They should have filmed that. <laughs> I know they should have. It was funny, but it was just we just clicked, and it was it was really good. good. They did a good job. The you, people who auditioned. Yeah, you did your bonding experience. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. it was awesome. Because once you tracked in the same house, I know exactly. Like <laughs> you're stuck with they, them. <laughs> like they want us to all be like best friends, and we are anyway. You know, yeah. what I mean? like most of the time. Like, I don't know. It just worked out. It just worked out. And it's awesome. Mm. Like, we always, like, hang out with each other. Like, I'm going to see some of them after this probably. Oh, it's cool. That's like, cute. Even on your days off. We all just hang out. Like, they're all really awesome people. I guess we're all similar, you know. We all we all love kids and we're all positive and we all live a healthy lifestyle and we all mm. love performing. So, I guess... Yeah, you live, you're all living your passion. I guess that's kind of you another version of myself. Joe's just a darker version of myself <laughs> with dreadlocks. Like... So we're, we're all the same people, so we would love to hang out with each other. Yeah. Oh, good. You do. Thank goodness. That's a... Whew, that, that's dodge a, that's a bullet. A yeah, yeah. The boss is a high five. just like, thank gosh, that happened. Yeah. Cause you, could you imagine? If yeah. You didn't, yeah, I don't want to. Make work a little hard. Yeah, it would. But it's okay, because we're all really good friends. Oh, good. So it works out well. Awesome. Now, even though you've already achieved so much in your career, at only 19, just reminding everybody, <laughs> what else can we expect from you in the future? In the future? Um, I just want to entertain at the end of the day. Like, good. I don't care. You're good at it, so. I don't care in what media or what medium, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't really care. Like, 
I love musicals. Like, I think my life would have been complete if I haven't done a musical. But so maybe in the future. Yeah, maybe in the future. <laughs> like, my dream role is to be Don Lockwood in Singing in the Rain because that's kind of why I started singing and that. You tapping. missed that opportunity. It was. Like, I did. I did. I did. It was only really here recently. It, came, it, it seems to come every ten years. So I'm hoping when I'm 29, I can go for it. Mm. I think that would be a good age to do it. Uh, that would be cool. That would be good. Because it was about... Well, actually, um, Gene Kelly was... I think he was like 40 when he did it. On wow. The show. But he looks like... He's a good looking man. So yeah. he just looks like he's 25 for like his whole life. <laughs> but yeah, so that's a dream role. And Newsies, the musical, anything there. I don't know. And I love presenting and doing stuff like this is fun. And, and I also love working with kids. Like I can't imagine having to not work with kids like I feel like if I do a musical like I'll have to do something else yeah. with kids because I just love them so do like Matilda yeah that, that's a good way kids. or like maybe like a Disney musical so then it's kind of like performing for kids, kids as well yeah I don't know we'll see what happens oh. whatever opportunities arise I'll take it yeah, yeah. and with High Five you're about to start the filming of the show you yeah said. we're leaving on and um, Sunday to wow. go do it where, where's it being filmed? Malaysia. We're going to Malaysia to film it. Okay. There that go. was so random. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, so we're going to Malaysia to film for seven weeks. Wow. Seven weeks, yeah. So we're just doing some script like, love preps. Love family. See you in a couple of months. Yeah. yeah, see you in a few months. I'll see you when I'm 25. Cause yeah. I'm, but no. Yeah, I miss my sister's birthday, which kind of sucks. Oh. That's right. With internet these days, it's pretty easy just okay. to kind just of... Skype. Just Skype. Just yeah. Skype, FaceTime, call them. It's pretty easy. Yeah. But no, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to go and film. I've never really done a TV series before. Like, I've done, like, little acting stuff here and there. Mm. But having a whole TV series and having, like, your own segments and... I'm so excited to see it. It's going to be fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. And, and you'll be... Wait. Going on tour again, traveling around, yeah. doing shows. We will be. We'll yeah. be. Well, I think we're planning to do. I don't know when our Australia tour is, to be honest with you, but I think it might be mid to late, like August. I'm guessing around that kind of area. That mm. holiday period will be in, around Australia, so that'll be fun. Awesome. That'll be awesome. Well, let me know. I will. I want to come along. <laughs> I'll give you some free tickets. Yes. There we go. Maybe give some to the. Of the course, I will. Too, yeah. I will. I will. Awesome. I'll be there with bells on. I'll just be a big kid. You'll going, be Woo! there. It's all right. There'll be my <laughs> mum will be there. She'll be dancing along anyway. She comes to all my shows. Yeah, I won't be the oldest there, so that's good. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be. There'll be a big gap between you know the kids and me, but you know. That's all right. That's, that's all right. right. There's been older fans than you. Exactly. Follow high fives. There's so. probably grandparents going right. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Exactly. So <laughs> definitely not the oldest person. But it'd be good. Relive yeah. my relive my childhood. That's it. Yeah. It kind of it flashbacks. <laughs> it's nostalgic. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, there'd probably be a lot of songs you'd be like, oh, I remember this. Yeah, honestly, like when we did the carols with Santa Claus is Coming, I didn't actually really have to learn the Cory because I knew it anyway from as a kid just watching it. Isn't that creepy, right? It's just, like it just this, comes to you. This is bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> this is weird. But yeah, because it's, I don't know. I just used to watch it all the time. Like, yeah. that's what I did as a kid. Like, I just watched High Five. And now that's I'm one of them. Like, yeah. Even thinking about it right now is weird. Mm. But, oh, it's awesome. It's yeah, so it's cool. It's a pinch yourself moment. It is. It honestly is. Because yeah. that's why I perform. That's why I started dancing. And mm. now they had such a huge influence on me. And it's, it's crazy to think that I have a huge influence on other little kids like they did to yeah. me. So it's like a big circle, a and big in the triangle. future, might, they might do another. Yeah, some kid, of high five, some and then you'll be passing watching, the baton. Some again. kids who's are watching high five now could be in high five in, in the what, future. In like yeah, fifteen, twenty years time. Wow, so, that's yeah. oh, that's awesome though. Life, it's, it's, cool. a, it's a cycle. It is because I think cycle. we were both born at like the perfect time when high five. Was yes, primal. I was primal. Yeah, I was two when it came out, so it was mm. like. Just perfect. And then I watched it for the first year and came here and started dancing. Yeah. High five and the wiggles. That's what I watched. Yeah. Yeah. I watched a bit of the wiggles too. Yeah. I like the wiggles. Hot potato, hot potato. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. funny. That's like the only song I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just say any like foods and yeah and temperatures. Warm watermelon. I don't know. It's probably a song. Warm watermelon, watermelon. No, it's not. Why I'm would you eat that? I don't know. I was just thinking... <laughs> Probably could make a song. I don't <laughs> there think we the go. Kids won't care. <laughs> They'll love it. They'll be like, "Oh, mum, can I have some warm watermelon?" Be like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you want me to put the watermelon in the microwave? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. 
<laughs> anyway, moving on. Moving on, that was weird. <laughs> Before we move on to the Rave It Up game. Oh, yeah, yes, exciting. exciting. He has no idea what it is. I have no idea. <laughs> what advice would you give to the listeners who might want to follow their dreams of becoming an entertainer? Do it. Do just, it? Just do it. Follow your dreams because it's once your dreams happen, it's it's amazing and it's the best feeling ever. Even though I like, I'm still trying to strive to be a better, a better performer and a better person. Like, uh, this is a goal of mine to do what I'm doing now. And mm. once you get one of your goals, it's amazing and it's so worthwhile working hard. And advice is just work. Like, just work hard. If you want to be a better singer, all you have to do is sing. If you want to be a better dancer, all you have to do is dance. So just, just do it. I don't know. Go do acting classes. The only thing stopping you from getting to where you want to be is just working and just doing mm. it and yeah that's basically Fantastic it quote. there we go yeah. quote unquote Lachlan Deering yeah <laughs> thank you so much for that advice hopefully they take it on board yeah and and go do it do it go live your dreams go do it do it <laughs> like, just like, like Nike, Nike. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice just do it <laughs> ole, ole, ole. come on ole, hot, hot, hot. It is now time for the legendary Rave It Up 2 Minute Hot Seat. For all the new listeners and for you, Lockie, yes. how this game works is I'll ask you various questions and you just have to pick your preference. Pick so it's preference. like Coke or Pepsi, cats or dogs. Oh, okay. And you have to answer as many questions in two minutes as possible. Oh, wow. This seat is hot. I'm yes, feeling it already. Good. <laughs> it's a warm seat. <laughs> Literally. <no. laughs> so uh, it is a lot of fun. Okay. And when we finish, I can see how many questions you answered and see where you sit on the leaderboard up against everyone else who's played the game on the show. So is, is, the, is the challenge to see how many I How can many do? you can answer. Okay. But, but that's truthful. That's yeah, be truthful. obviously we want your... Tr- your what correct if, answers like and for example when you said coke and pepsi i don't drink soft drink then just say none okay okay all right yeah. okay cool like yeah. pass kind of yeah thing. pass yeah okay just none thanks none yeah okay. i don't like <laughs> either of them okay well sometimes people just like both <laughs> both okay cool don't say both for every single one though. no no both 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 both, both. i won <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm at like 200 now. Yeah, suck on that. <laughs> <laughs> so the top of the leaderboard is answered 101 questions. Okay. That was her second time though, so she had a bit of a advantage. Wow, I okay. Guess. And right. the second person on the leaderboard is 92. Okay. So it's high up there, but there oh, has wow. been um, 135 people to play this. 135 people? Yes. Look at you go. That's I awesome. I, I've been doing this. Congrats. This will be like the seventh year I've oh, wow. owned this business. Yeah. That's cool. So... 135 people. That's a lot of people, but that is. let's see how you go. Okay. Are all you right. all ready? Oh, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> okay, good. All right, I've got the stopwatch here. This all is right. game face. Like, this is what I change You're from serious. being my smile. Yep. <laughs> that was wrong. <laughs> I'm okay. a bit scared now. <laughs> okay. No, no, go ahead. All right. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Facebook or Instagram? Instagram. iPhone or Blackberry? iPhone. Apple or Android? Apple. Rap or rock? Rap. Rock or pop? Rock. Pop or country? Pop. Beach or mountains? Beach. Beach or pool? Beach. Skiing or snowboarding? S- snowboarding. Comedy or action? C- comedy. Blondes or brunettes? Blondes. Sweet or salty? Uh, salty. Sunglasses or hat? Hat. SUV or convertible? SUV. Mac or PC? Mac. PlayStation or Wii? Wii. Singing or dancing? Dancing. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Italian or Chinese food? Chinese. Summer or winter? Summer. Kim Kardashian or Scarlett Johansson? <laughs> Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Johnny Depp or Will Smith? Oh, Johnny Depp. Mall or online shopping? Uh, online. Cinema or home movie? Cinema. Ice cream or gelato? Ice cream. Cake or cookies? Uh, cookies. Cookies or cookie dough? Oh, cookies. Family or friends? <laughs> uh, family. Football or soccer? Uh, football. Christmas or your birthday? Christmas. Night or day? Day. Bus or train? Uh, train. Straight or curly hair? Curly. I call blue or brown? Blue. Vampire or werewolf? Uh, werewolf. Texting or calling? Texting. Sydney or Melbourne? Uh, Mel- Sydney. <laughs> Friday or Saturday? Uh, Saturday. TV or movies? Uh, movies. Starbucks or Glory Jeans? Uh, Starbucks. Snow or Surf? Surf. Harry Potter or Twilight? Twilight. Family Guy or The Simpsons? Family Guy. McDonald's or Hungry Jacks? Uh, McDonald's. Red Rooster or KFC? Uh, Red Rooster. French fries or chips? French fries. Burger or hot dog? Burger. Pies or sausage rolls? Pies. Tomato sauce or barbecue sauce? Barbecue sauce. Guitar or drums? Guitar. Sneakers or thongs? Sneakers. Bike or scooter? Uh, bike. Leather or denim? Denim. City or country? Uh, country. Biting your nails or picking your nose? <laughs> nah, biting my nails. Tattoos or piercings? No. Backpack either. or suitcase? Uh, backpack. Pen or pencil? Uh, pen. Mum or dad? Mum. <laughs> Headphones or speakers? 
headphones. Book or magazine? Magazine. Boxes or briefs? Boxes. Board shorts or speedos? Board shorts. <laughs> Photo or video? Video. Apple or orange? Apple. Glass or bottle? Glass. Superman or Batman? Batman. Avengers or Justice League? Avengers. Milkshake or thick shake? Milkshake. Chocolate or strawberry? Chocolate. And we're out of time. <laughs> <laughs> I can relax. It's like a relief. Eh? It was one of them I answered incorrectly and I went, damn it, shouldn't have said that. Yeah, it's no, like I just wasted no. two seconds. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was full on. How did I go? How many questions do you think you answered? Oh, I don't feel like it was 100. I couldn't have been 100. Surely not. Could it have been? I, I don't know. I can't imagine it could have been. Like, I'm going to say like 80, 90. Well, you have answered 70 questions. 70? And you were sitting number 18 on the Rave Up leaderboard. So you're still on the first page. Oh, nice. That's good. You just <laughs> have... What was the highest? 101. How? I know, right? I don't even think they listened How? to what I asked. Oh, wow. Do you know how hard that was to keep up with? That, like, Yeah, oh. that was... How do you do that? That's... I know. She's incredible. Oh, Shakai, <laughs> get out of town. You she, know Shakai too. She danced here. That is incredible. Why didn't you tell me that, Shakai? That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> she's been on three times on the show. Oh wow. We're, we're good friends now. That's she's cool. She's amazing. She's yeah. so nice. Yeah, she's talented for sure. But good job. Thank You'll you. You'll have to come back on the show and try to beat. Yeah, Shikai. I have to go again, and I'm, I'm, oh, I'm so competitive. I'm, she's I'm, been on three times. So the third time she played, she answered 87. So she's sitting number three. 87 on the Rave It Up leaderboard. Uh, I thought you said you number. I thought you said before number one was 180, and I was just like, "No way! There's no way I got 100." Like, I was just like, "That's it's really crazy. funny." People just like, "How many questions do you have?" And I'm like, "I think I've got a." Yeah, how many questions you got? 100 and I think I checked the other day. I was like, maybe I should add some. 131. You have to be you beat more amazing. than 131. Like, yeah, oh, you that's deserve crazy. a prize. Yeah, that's. I don't think they'd be listening to the questions I'd ask. Like, that's that's a question a second. Like, yeah. More. More. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I don't think I can talk that fast. <laughs> I tried. I tried. I, w- I went all right. I'm on the first page. And it was your first time. My so first time. I'm, you didn't I'm, know what to expect. I'm coming back. I'm definitely... Good. I'm coming back and it's I'm beating that score. It's been a lot of fun score. with you, so you're, you're Thank free you. to come on the show anytime. Oh, uh, it'll be a pleasure. Yeah, just just message me and come back on. Yeah, I will. I will. <laughs> Lockie, it is obviously the time in the show where I ask more fun and funny questions. Okay, all right. And we have a question that all your fans would like to know the answer to. Yes, all right. Are you single? I am single. Ooh, what do you look for in a partner? Uh, someone who's passionate. Ooh. That's like so as deep. in as in no passionate about like things as in like I'm yeah, passionate yeah, I know, about I know what you meant. Yeah, yeah, I know. passionate <laughs> about performing or passionate about painting mm. and talent as well. Talent's oh. attractive. Yeah, that, no, <laughs> not no talent. It's not attractive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's there just, you go. Some people have a chance with you, do they? Yes. Would absolutely. you ever date a fan? Obviously not. Not the kids. <laughs> not the kids. Not the kids. <laughs> that that but, came out really wrong. <laughs> well, I guess I like it, if they. If we're compatible and there's someone yeah. who I could imagine spending the rest of my life with, then oh, of course, so of course. Beautiful. Oh, so down to earth, this guy. It's oh. great. <laughs> <laughs> now, we are getting to the end of the interview, unfortunately. It's been oh. a lot of fun. It's gone really quickly. <laughs> but as a closing statement, yes. and was probably the most important question, yep. a bit more serious now. Okay. Knowing what you know now, what yep. would you tell your 14 year old self? Uh, work. Work. Work, 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 hard. Work work. <laughs> work, 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 work. No, just work hard because, as I said earlier, it's the only way to get to where you are to where you want to be. It's just working. Mm. So if I, I should have paid more attention in ballet when I was younger. Like you know what I mean? Like I did work hard, but I've always could have worked harder. <laughs> I don't know. I've always worked really hard through my, out my whole life, and I've I've been in this studio like. I don't know, five hours every day. Like I just, wow. oh, I was here. Like this is this is my life, and I worked hard. But you can always work harder. Yeah. So you can do six I, that's, hours. That's probably <laughs> probably something I would maybe work on singing more. I don't know. Probably just work harder at everything. If that's if that's school, work hard at school. If that's may as well do. If you're gonna do something, do it properly and mm. do it to the best of your ability. Yeah. That's probably what I would tell myself at 14. Probably I did kind of do that though. But I don't know. I put more emphasis emphasis on it. More, more work. <laughs> more sun. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully that's even good advice for all the fourteen year olds listening. So yeah, everyone. No good advice how old you for are. everybody. Just work harder. Just work harder. There's always a possibility to work harder. There is. Yeah. There is. And uh, before we go, yep. if the listeners would like to contact you or find out what you're up to, yeah, where yeah. should they go? Check out my. Well, I've got my Instagram page, which is Lockie Daring. I've got a contact button there. Emails. Uh, I've also got. Facebook page, Lockie Deering. 
check it out. And also check out the High Five website for all of our details that are coming up for our, sh- our yep. shows, our tours, and our merchandise. And when we're merchandise, and, yeah, too. Love check it. out check out uh, Channel Nine as well because we're a part of Channel Nine. So we'll be on there soon. A lot. Yep. So check it out. <laughs> check out their websites. Yeah, we'll be on Stan. I don't know. Yeah, there's a few things happening. So just awesome. keep an eye out for High Five because they're on everything. Yeah, you gotta be. It's pretty cool. Gotta be these days. It's so weird. Like I can't believe I'm, I'm, I'm in high five. Like it's weird. <laughs> it's, it's like he just he just had this moment. Like, it is. Oh like, my I God, just had I'm this moment. Like, I was like, check out Channel Nine. Like, wow, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> check out the website. You never thought yeah. you'd say that, right? I never thought I'd be able to say that, but I am. But yeah, awesome. check it out. Yeah, I found you on Instagram. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. So anything's possible. Anything is possible. Yeah, there you go. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thanks Lovely. so much for having me. It's You're been a pleasure. You're welcome. And as I said at the beginning of the interview, thanks for taking the time out. and Especially anytime. on your day off. Like, anytime. That means a lot to me. Honestly, so. no dramas. Anytime. Yeah. We'll have to get you back on the show. Yeah, absolutely. Love to have you on again. First of all, I need to beat my score, what I did there. Because yeah. I can... I, I could have 70, think, yeah. 70, 70. He'll be listening to the other other interviews now. I'll just be at home going purple, green, and just <laughs> just keep saying things. Keep it. I'll be I'll be in training until I meet you yeah. next time. Make, make like fake questions. Yes, I will. Just... Yeah, I'll get my mum to quiz me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going back on Lauren's show, so yeah, yeah. I need to be ready. Immense training starts now. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to beat that 101. Yeah. Oh man, I'm going. I'm going to get 102. Yeah, because I think uh, 70. I think you've. Uh, no, no, I, I beat that. Oh. 73 I'm on So you've got to at least beat oh, me I could beat you then yeah. I'm going to beat you for sure I think I actually could have done so much better I feel really sorry for all my guests Like oh. it's hard That's hard yeah It's a good one though Yeah, yeah that, It that's is fun. a lot of fun Yeah it is fun Because everybody loves a bit of competition Oh, Everybody's so competitive, competitive. <laughs> Yeah, So competitive Once you see someone on the list Like Shakai They're just like Oh yeah, my god Yeah now that I know I Shakai's beat... there on third I'm, yeah. I'm so planning to beat her Yep, you can have a <laughs> look at the list when we're not recording and go, uh, who yes, else do I know? Of course, I will do that. Yeah, so you have some more people in mind. More people in mind to beat. Yeah, <laughs> good. <laughs> I'm um, not competitive, I swear. Yeah, let's. No, everybody is. Like, I know, just I know. Just admit it. I know, I am. I am so competitive. <laughs> yeah, but um, let's stay in contact and Absolutely. make this happen again, whether 100%. it's here or somewhere else, but... Hundred percent. I don't mind coming out here. That's a, it was a nice drive. Yeah. yeah, you get to see where it all started. Exactly. All the trip down memory lane. Yeah. For you, anyway. <laughs> but for everyone watching, make sure to check out Lockie and High Five, especially with the new show coming out. Yes. Yeah. But for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. See you Bye. later. Thanks so much. Bye. <laughs>